Last week on Sailing Adrift. Oops. Chris gave himself a good whack. So I ran up and I went, Hyah! I took that shit out. Yeah, you did. This used to live here. I decided, nope, I don't want to hear anymore. We also showed you our stowage situation. Struggling over there, dear? Yeah, a little bit. And we built that box for the toilet paper. the boat this evening gonna wipe everything down in preparation for the fairing compound that's gonna fill in all these nooks and crannies so we can make a smooth awesome finish step one knock down the dust step two suck up the dust step three Wipe everything down with acetone. Okay, this is all clean and prepped and ready for fairing compound. I can assure you, we wasted no time. See this, Kelly? You see this? Yep. Right here? Yep. You know what this means? Means you're uh, working in fairing compound. What an anticlimactic way to say it. It's fairing time, Kelly. I know. I'm not looking forward to it because you know what fairing means? Sanding. Yeah. And being frustrated because you think you did it well and you got all these ridges that you need to be sanded, but they're always in the freaking corner so you can't get to them. So you get like a little piece of sandpaper on your finger and go <laughs> until it works out. And then there's stupid little divots places so you have to do one more round of fairing. Pray for me. Pray that I have the staying power to do as many rounds of fairing as is needed because we might end up with a less than perfect finish because I just get sick of it. I'm still having PTSD from the aft bathroom. <laughs> Chris is now preparing himself for his third round of sanding. You look ridiculous. I look like a gay Darth Vader. A Darth Vader. Luke, I am your father. Can you see? But I will try not to, wait, hold on. Do this to my shoes. These yeah. aren't even the bad ones. I destroyed like two pair. And that's okay, wanna know why? These shoes are freaking ugly and no one should wear them. They are not attractive at all. Why do I wear them? They go on and off my feet quite easily. End of list. Anyway, I'm gonna go get after this now that you've uh, cleaned everything. Uh, I will direct your attention to this. This is the shower pan. Nice. And right here is gonna be the recess for the uh, drain. The key to successful fairing is to use a fairing compound that contains the appropriate resin and thicketing agents to do the job properly. Gotta stir this up, take it up to the boat, smear it on the walls like chocolate. So you do the chocolate? Yeah, because it's thick. So strong. Thick like a shake. Mm-hmm. Oopsie doodle. Bye. Hey. I'm too busy to be murdered right now, person. I wasn't here to murder you. Oh, good. As I mentioned, I'm a little too busy for that. I heard. This looks good. Does it though? I mean, for what it you is? throw around these words, I think it looks kind of gross. It does, but it's progress. Definitely is progress. Mm -hmm. Smoothing out the rough spots. Spots right here are quite difficult to sand, so I'm trying to get this part as smooth as possible. Well, I'll leave you to it. Have fun working out, dude. I'll just be up Thanks. here spreading the love. All right. Eight hours later. Hello. Hi. Hi. How's it going? Almost done. Wow, that's a lot more red. <sighs> Might need one more batch. Chris kept going into the night, and then he was back at it the following morning. I'm sculpting. You're an artiste. That's right. Artist doesn't 
add more clay, but he strips away the inessentials, revealing the piece of art beneath. I am not an artist. I add more clay. Again, and again, and again. Guess what time it is? Oh boy, am I not looking forward to this morning. Hopefully it goes a lot smoother than it has in the past. I've got some things set up to make this as easy on me as possible. And I've got more experience knowing how much to sand and how much to uh, put on in the fairing process. So hopefully that'll impact the grinding and the dust and all of that stuff. We shall soon see. Ooh, you know, my little Darth Vader piece fell off. I do really like these style respirators. You get the big cartridge ones, but I think those are a little bit for more heavy duty projects. These, they're basically a giant filter. So once you've used them a while, you can take your vacuum and suck them off and then reuse them. And you can definitely tell when they stop working because you don't start breathing particles. You just can't breathe at all. Get in one of these suits, get the mask on, and let's get out there and get going. And we're ready. All right, here we go. In case you were wondering, we got a lot smarter this time with our ventilation setup. I had to run out real quick because uh, it is 1020 and I just finished the grinder work. Next is going to be, you know, like the regular hand sander and everything that's not on a flat, even surface. But it's 1020 and I had to go grab myself some breakfast. Because I'm hungry and breakfast is almost over at Wendy's. Awesome. Thanks, man. I don't know if you've had the pleasure of a breakfast baconator. But it's hands down the best breakfast sandwich out there. Delicious. Now more sanding. Knock, knock. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't want to scare you. Sorry. I tried to be loud when I came in. Looks like you've been very productive here. Hello. Hi. You're up. The camera won't focus. Because I'm a ghost. And white powder is. You do look like a ghost. This is strange. What game? This is a little fixture for the uh, sink. That was uh, quite a morning. Let's take a peek at the clock. We spent five hours and 33 minutes sanding. Yeah, it's quite a day. Yeah. There's a lot of to sand, and I'm sure there will be more. When you go out there to do the cleanup, there's a Sharpie up there. Mark anything and everything that is not perfect. Okay. Don't miss anything. All right. So I only want to do maximum two more rounds of this. It's miserable. Okay, my turn to come in here and clean things up for round two, which will be more fairing compound and more sanding. Probably not going to look a whole lot different once I'm done. Just wipe down. But it will feel different, that's for sure. As instructed, I carefully went over everything and marked out all of the imperfections. Then, like an idiot, I wiped everything down with acetone in prep for another round of fairing compound, which erased most of my marks, and I had to do that part all over again. Idiot!
Chris is probably not going to be too thrilled about this. It's quite a lot of markups. Five and a half hours of standing. And I took a shower and had some lunch. And Kelly went up there to mark up the boat. I gave her a Sharpie and asked her to designate any spots that need fairing compound. And now I'm a little worried going up there that it's going to be a lot. Yep. I already know it's going to be a lot. I'm just hoping it won't be like whole walls that will require a ton of sanding. But let's go find out. Huh. Just missed a few spots, but it's not bad. I'm going to mix up some fairing compound and get after all of this. <laughs> I'm very hopeful that we'll only have a couple more rounds of fairing. One major and one minor. <sighs> That's no fun, so you just gotta get after it. Sunday morning. Ah, the epoxy fairing compound has stiffened up overnight and now it's uh, back to the grind, literally. But I'll need a mask to protect my eyes. Yesterday I used just this mask for a while and I had big old like white nasties in my eyeballs. So we're gonna use this one the whole day. Okay, today we're gonna start with the little guy to get all the edge work. And then we'll move to the big grinder if we need to. Kelly! Kelly's up there sanding. No, she's not sanding, she's vacuuming and marking the places I missed. Okay, here's the next step. I know, Bondo, right? Anytime I've used the fairing compound additive, it has a tendency to make a ton of pinholes, which is a pain in the butt. And this stuff works much better and supposedly is perfect for this application. It mentions fiberglass specifically. So we're going to go up and glaze the pinholes. Time for more sanding. So far we've done nine hours of non-stop fun. Well, there was several stops in between, but we're nine hours into the sanding process and our putty, our Bondo little pinhole repair has had time to cure. So we're gonna go up there and hopefully this won't take very long. Yeah, and monkeys might fly out of my butt. <sighs> Still not looking forward to it. Let's get geared up and uh, hopefully this will be the last round, but I'm guessing it won't even be the second to last round. Here we go. The whole room is cherry coated, but this stuff sands pretty darn easily. So I'm hoping this goes quicker even though I might have to do a few more cuts. Yeah, that's good. That's real good. Back to it. Here it is, round four. Round four is sanding. They're getting smaller each time though. The first one was five and a half hours. The second one was three and a half hours for a total of nine. And then last night it was only two hours. And this is only a partial. We're really kind of focusing on this area up here. It's hard to see. Let's look over here where there's some light. Right up here. I finally figured I better take care of that. And then after this stage, we're gonna do a few more areas with the, uh, the resin. This stuff is pretty great. There are pinholes if you look closely in this. Let's see if I can get in there enough. There are pinholes, which is kind of a bummer because it's supposed to not have pinholes, but it dries in about 30 minutes and you can sand it and do a whole nother round. So that's pretty sweet. Here anyway, I'm gonna get after this and hopefully it won't take me all freaking day and uh, we'll be ready to prime by tomorrow. And another round from Clean It Up Kel.
followed by a bunch of new markups. All right, all this green. This is our last, hopefully, round. Oh, there's a lot. Also, we gotta get this perfectly smooth. But with this new product, I think it should go in one round, maybe two. We have another round after this. It should be fairly quick. Round four. Last night was about an hour and a half worth of sanding. This one I'm hopeful for. Uh, we're getting to the end of it. There's just a few things that need to be smoothed out. I want to get some broad areas taken care of. But uh, I'm sorry this is so boring. All I'm doing is sanding. No one wants to watch that. It sucks. It sucks for me. It sucks to watch. We're going to get after it. And then after that, we'll wipe everything down and hopefully be ready for primer. So it's hard to see in here because the lights are off. It's in the middle of the day. That's how dark this place gets. But there are a few places left where I think we're going to have to have one more coat. I would say this is 99.627% complete. And we just have a few little nicks and dings that we're gonna have to take care of. So wipe it down, one more round of cherry flavored Pepto-Bismol wall. And uh, I think we're gonna have it one way or the other because I think I'll just give up if I can't fix all the other little dings. Sigh, painting's coming. So another round down and another round of cleaning. Hello everybody. We're back here in the in the forward head to do more sanding. This will be round six and Chris has logged 13 and a half hours of sanding so far. Last time it took us an hour. This one is just spot sanding and I'm hoping that it will take much less than an hour to sand all this out and this will be the final round. Keep your fingers crossed. Today might finally be the day where we get to break out the primer. That would be swell. But first, we gotta sand. This last, hopefully, knock on wood, sanding session, I'm doing by hand with a light touch because I would rather have a bit of a crown than uncover a bunch of bubbles hidden beneath. That sounds lazy and it probably is, but after five rounds, I just want this smooth and I want to be able to move on to the next step. There, that one wasn't so bad. 22 minutes of sanding. That brings the total to... Movie magic. Tune in next week as we start priming stuff. Hey you, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed what you saw and you want to keep following along, become a subscriber. Just hit that subscribe button below. And special thanks to our patron crew. We really appreciate your support. Mm -hmm. And the blade goes, it just makes a huge freaking mess. What are you filming? I'm filming you stir that batch. Why would anyone want to watch me stir this batch? I don't know. People need to see what you're doing. No, they don't. Yeah, they do. And they get in there. Not film, everything I do. Film Some that. of it's not cool. It's not easy being cheesy. And how do you do this? Sexy. Oh, my hair. Goodness.